Now, I've been on a lot of cruise ships, and accessing the internet at sea is usually an exercise in frustration. But I read before this cruise about some special technology on the Norwegian getaway that would speed up internet access. And it turns out that it's true, but it's not really true. Uh, let me show you. Today is a day at sea. We're out in the middle of the Caribbean somewhere. And let me show you what happens when you try to access the internet. All right, I've typed up into the address bar, www.ncl.com, and when I hit the old enter button here, let's just see how long it takes for the entire page to load. So down in the lower left corner, you can see it says waiting for ncl.com. And there finally the Google page goes away. So something's happening. And there we go. We got the beginning of the page to load, but there's a lot more to come after this. This is just the beginning. Now at home, it would take me about two to three seconds to get the whole page to load on the same computer using a cable modem. But it's going to take a lot longer at sea. <laughs> so you can see again, it's, it's still, you know, waiting for ncl.com is what it says there in the lower left corner. And all this content in the center needs to load up. So it's just going to take a while here at sea. You can see that spinning thing in the center of the screen there, uh, you know, indicating that something's happening. It's trying to load something, but the content isn't there yet. Uh, and, you know, we're making some progress. Ah, much better, but it's still not fully loaded. There, finally, fully loaded, almost a minute. Okay, well, this is a better way for me to show you how slow the internet connection is when the ship's at sea. Uh, this will give us a, a more... Uh, quantifiable, a number that'll show how slow the connection is. Uh, we're at speedtest.net and right now what it's doing is it's uh, pinging a couple of servers there in the Florida area trying to find the server with the best connection to the, see those dots there indicate different servers, the best connection uh, to the ship right now. Once it finds the server with the best connection it'll use that for the test which will give the best results. And okay, here we go. So what it's going to do is it's it's going to check three things. It's going to check a ping time, there download speed time, and it'll show an upload speed time. Uh, and you know, at home the test would practically be done by now, but uh, the connection is so poor out here at sea over the the satellite uh, connection that uh, this is taking a lot longer than it normally would at home. But anyhow, pretty soon we should see a result for the the ping test. The longer that this goes, the worse it bodes for the ping test. Uh, that means it's it's taking an awful li long time to ping the server. That's not good. <laughs> oh my God! I've never seen that happen before. It, it was such a slow ping; it just it timed out. Oh, that's bad. All right, it is now a day later, and the ship is docked in Nassau in the Bahamas, where there is some special. Uh, internet communications equipment from MTN Communications that gives the ship a high-speed internet connection when it's in Nassau. And we've got a ping time of only 81 milliseconds. That's very good. And holy cow! Look at the download speeds. I mean, at home on a cable modem, I only get like 30 meg on this computer. I've got over 50 meg on a cruise ship. That's incredible. 50 meg download speeds. And then upload speeds at home on my cable modem Typically, maybe two or three megs. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's over 40 meg upload speeds. Oh, that's... It's over 50 megs. That's cra... It's nearly... It's over 60. Oh, I can't believe that. Wow. Well, don't expect that when you're at sea, but in certain ports on the Norwegian getaway, that's the kind of internet performance you can get.